I don't really like those words. Self-help or self-management or self-improvement. I don't really like what those words have come to mean these days. Because there's a, a lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change, right? The one change in their life that's gonna make their dreams come true. I'm no guru. And I definitely don't claim to be. I'm just a man. But I will tell you this. It isn't one thing. And it isn't 10 things. And it isn't 100 things. It isn't a quick path. And there are no shortcuts. Meditation won't get you there. And neither will a miracle drug or an organic supplement or some superfood. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. It's a campaign. It's a daily, a weekly, it's an hourly fight. An incessant fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline campaign of hard work and dedication it's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between every single day so you want to get better you want to self-improve stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock and find your discipline and find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, and then you will find your freedom. We know from our past experiences that big things start small. Uh, you know, it, uh, the biggest oak starts from an acorn, and you've got to recognize, if you want to do anything new, you've got to be willing to let that acorn grow into a little sapling and then finally into a small tree, and maybe one day it'll be a big business on its own. Basically, you can't skip steps. You have to put one foot in front of the other. Things take time. Uh, you, there are no shortcuts. And, uh, but, uh, but you want to do those steps with, you know, passion and ferocity. Those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. Well, what do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it done even if I'm just going through the motions, I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. I, I really don't want to hammer on a project. I hammer on the project. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. Yeah, I get up and get out of bed. Now, these could be signals that you need some time off. And those signals might be right. They could be correct. But don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't, don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights, sprint the hill, work on the project, get out of bed. Now, as an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. If you are going to rest, that is one thing that you should procrastinate on. That's the one thing I want you to put off until tomorrow. 
And if, when tomorrow comes, you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break, then okay. Take it. But the chances are, you won't. You won't need that rest. Chances are, you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, you overcame that path and you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path, which is right where you know that you belong.